Okay, I don't know how else to say this without just saying it, so I'm just gonna say it. I made bangs. Good evening, by the way. I am so proud of myself. I had this wig that I absolutely love. I've been wearing it forever now. I've had it for years. Like, I did not want to ruin it. And the Queen of Hearts from Alice Madness Returns has bangs. And I'm like, oh no, what am I going to do? I don't want to order another wig. I want this one. So I didn't cut the bangs. I took on this adventure of making clip-on bangs. And I'm like, I'm so proud of them. Check it out. Are you ready? I'm about to show you. You're going to be like, wow. It's my masterpiece. You guys have no idea. Like for this video, I have made the crown. I have made the bangs. I made a lot of stuff for this video. Hey, let me unclip the bangs. You guys are probably like, Lex, I really don't care, but I'm going to show you anyway. I mean, the, ignore how they're cut. I mean, the reason they're cut this way is because like it fits with the wig. That's not like, don't cut your bangs like this. This is like questionable. This should just be the whole video, me being proud of my bangs. In this video, I'm going to be going over for Alice Mattis Returns, Queen of Hearts. This video actually is going to be using latex towards the end, but it's gonna be optional, and I just wanna give a little bit of a, a warning that if you are gonna use latex on your hands, on your face, on your skin in general, please make sure that you always do a patch test and make sure that you are not allergic to liquid latex before you start using it. If you enjoy this video, any of my videos, or enjoy watching me turn myself into crazy characters, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to have you a part of my little strange family. Just like in my Alice video, the first thing we're going to do is make our face pale, but beyond pale, we're gonna make our face straight up white. We're gonna look real crazy for a while in the beginning of this video. And this is totally optional, but I personally like that foundation underneath my body paint. I feel like it just, I feel like it helps. It doesn't, but I feel like it does. Also, if you have played the game, please don't give any spoilers in the comments of who the Queen of Hearts is supposed to like represent in Alice's mind. Now, I do want to stay conscious when I'm painting my- stay conscious. Look at me being professional. I do want to stop the neck right around here because I know I'm going to be painting the dress on also and I don't want to mix those two colors together. I'm then going to prime my eyes and paint in my eyebrows black. And her eyebrows are a little more straight than they are arched, so I'm going to kind of try to keep that. I'm going to be conscious of that. Now because we have a completely white face and we're going to be doing dark eyeshadow, I'm going to apply powder all over my cheeks. This will make it much easier to just brush the fallout off instead of having it stick to my face. Now just like Alice, I do plan to widen my eyes a bit, but I'm actually going to be doing my eyeshadow first before doing the white underneath my eye. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, reference my Alice video, which I'll link in the corner. Regardless, you'll understand in a minute. So to start on the darkness of my eyes, I'm first gonna lay down some purple color and then go in with black and blend it all together. You know what, this color is burgundy, it's not purple. Now instead of doing harsh eyeliner to line around my extension of the eyeball, I'm actually first going to fill it in with some eyeshadow underneath, then go in and line it. I already know me putting contacts in when trying to paint this dress is going to be a no-go, so contacts will be coming later. We're then going to contour our face using a little bit of a very, very, very light gray eyeshadow, as well as add more of a reddish type lip color, which is going to look weird for now. I'm actually also going to add a bit of white highlight to the nose and cheeks. onto the dress. Now the dress isn't complicated, but it definitely needs to be outlined. And I'm going to outline it using an eyebrow marker to keep track of what I'm doing.
Now gold is always a very, very tricky body paint to use. If it gets on anything else, it stays there. So I'm gonna fill in all of the gold first in a very nervous fashion. Using red body paints, I'm now going to fill in the red heart in the center as well as add some red hearts on my shoulders. Using a little bit of black eyeshadow, I'm then gonna shade within the main heart and I'm also going to shade around all these other hearts, but it doesn't even matter if it's messy because everything around it is gonna be painted black anyways. I'm also going to fill in the bottom of the sleeves with red and then fill everything else in with black body paint. I'm then going to go in with some white body paint and create the separations between the ruffles and the dress. Now before I actually do my hands, because I'm going to be putting the latex directly on my hands, I'm not making gloves. Which if you're wearing this to a convention or something, I definitely would get gloves. I'm going to do a little bit of shading around the collar, put my contacts in, put my fake lashes on, and then start on the hands. And for the sake that I already know I'm not going to be able to press the record button while I'm doing my hands, I'm going to be mixing cotton and latex and just building it up on my hands and extending my fingers out and then painting them red. Just make sure you let the latex dry in between layers. It's one in the morning and I'm listening to Fire Away. Hello, do you want to be scary? You want to be scary. This is my injury. I suffered for this video because my mom tried taking my teeth out and she caught it with her nail. Does it look like I have a tail? <laughs> yes.